This one's really exciting. You can make this interactive pivot table style report using a really simple Excel trick. And once you know it, you'll be like, oh my God, this is so awesome. I gotta immediately use it. Well, let me show you how this is done. Step one is to create the pivot tables from your data. You want to make all the four or five or how many ever pivot tables or charts and set them up in individual sheets. I'm assuming you are already familiar with how to make a pivot table, but if you have never made a pivot table, check out my video on getting started with pivot tables with eight examples that goes through the pivot table process in a much more detail. So just insert pivot table and do this process four times. One handy trick when you're doing this is to make the first pivot table, set it up in the way that you want and then copy paste the spreadsheet so that you get four spreadsheets and just customize those pivot tables. So in the first pivot table, we want to create it by geography. So I'm going to put geography here, amount and units into the columns area and we'll get a nice little pivot table. Now what I want to do is I want to leave the first two columns blank. So I'll select this entire pivot table and move it here. At this point, we got, we'll make the column A big and column B slightly small. We will use this area to set up our navigation buttons so that when user clicks on something, they will jump to the individual pivot table. Quickly adjust the formatting of this pivot table. Now our number one pivot table is ready. I'm just going to copy paste this four times. So we have all the four pivot tables. Right now they all have the same values. Readjust them so that you get all the four combinations. So now all our four pivot tables are there by country, by person, top 10 products and bottom 10 products. If needed, add any conditional formatting to set up data bars or something. For example, I have set data bar on by country pivot so that we can see the amounts represented as bars. So now that all the four pivot tables are ready, we will set up the buttons here. Each button will take us to one of those pivots. To set up the button, go to insert, click on a shape and select a rectangle or a rounded rectangle. When placing and moving the rectangle, if you hold down the Alt key, it will automatically snap to the cell grid. Format this and then make a copy so that you get all the four buttons. Next, select each button, right click and go to the link option to set up a link. So for example, sales by country should take you to the by country worksheet A1. You want to do this for all the four buttons. One shortcut that you can use is you can select the button and press Ctrl K. So now we have four shapes that act like buttons. I can click on any one of them and it will take me to the relevant page. All we have to do is copy these buttons and paste them in the remaining three tabs. So right now we have a button navigation that will take us to other pages where the same buttons are available. So if I click on top 10 products, I go to top 10 products and then I can again navigate back to sales by country or sales by person. But on the relevant page, it doesn't really convey the message that we are on that page. So what we will do is for each tab, that corresponding button, we will make it slightly bigger and change the color. So for the sales by country, I'll take this button, I will make it bigger and then change the background color and the font color and make it bold. So now this, this will be obvious that we are on sales by country. We'll repeat that process for other pages as well. Ta-da, we are done. I can click on any button and it will take me to the relevant pivot report and it, the highlighting will clearly indicate which page we are on and this creates a very nice and friendly user interface. One handy trick that you can add here is you can even incorporate some icons. Go to insert and insert an icon right next to the button at the beginning or in the end and that will also add a little more pop to the information that you are presenting. You could use this trick with either pivot tables or charts or something else altogether that is done by formulas and all of them work very beautifully. Give it a try and let me know in the comments how it goes. If you have any question, let me know in the comments as well so that I can help you. If you enjoyed it, here is my complete playlist on advanced pivot table tricks. Check them out and improve your pivot table game. Take it to next level, I say. See ya.